Hi YouTube, um, my name is Mia and I am going to be pulling cards for people born in the years that end in zero or one and that dictates your Chinese element, which for either the one or the zero is metal. And uh, so I'm gonna be reading first for Aries born in, of underneath the uh, sign of metal. And I'm going to let my dog out really quick. Bad. He's been being bad. He's on me. Here, come lay down. Hey, baby, come lay down. Come lay down. Hey, baby, come on, come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here, lay down. 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 All the way. All the way, baby. All the way. All the way. All the way. Lay down. Hey, baby. Where are you? Hi. Okay. You're a good boy. Okay. All right. <laughs> You gotta, you're not gonna be able to do that while I'm recording. There, hush. <coughs> Alright, Aries born near metal. <coughs> oh, do not stare at Queen and Kyla. Stop, I keep to know. I don't want regnum to him. You have one toss to us. You get an entire an entire. I'm not sure. Cotidiana no novus hodie, et de bitter novus, de bitter nostris. Sigate, no sumimus, de toribus nostris, et me nos in ducas, and tentati unum. So Lira Nasamalo. Amen. Alright, this is the pre Raphaelite tarot deck. It's a gorgeous deck. I don't know who it's by, um, but this is the case. Uh, the pre Raphaelites, the white book that it came with talks about it. The pre Raphaelites were um, people, uh, it's like 18th century, late 18th century when. Artists were starting to um, try to make work that was free, as free of it from interpretation as possible. And the pre Raphaelites um, thought that they were more of the mind of pre modern, where um, everything should be idealized beauty. Plato's, Plato's theory and what we base our, our Western culture off of is geometry equals beauty. And beauty equals the divine. So that's why in Renaissance painting you find uh, a highly idealized bodies and so the pre-Raphaelites hey get out of there! One of, one of, the, one of the most famous being J.M. Waterhouse and uh, uh, De Rossetti and his his sorry and his uh, sister Gabrielle Rossetti was a famous poet uh, but they, she wrote some great stuff. Um, the pre-Raphaelite art is beautiful, very somber, um, very green and luscious. Uh, the death card in this one is my favorite, but okay. So. Oh, speaking of, the first card, the past, is, let's see, 13th Trump. Um, and that is from the uh from the painting it's called Ophelia it's by J.M. Waterhouse so it's a it's it's not exactly the same painting uh they did use some um some symbolism from the Rider weight they added some of that in there so um for my metal Aries the past is characterized by the idea of transformation um the number 13 death and rebirth, uh, Scorpio energy. So a lot of maybe, um, self, Hey, negative self-talk, um, self-criticism. Uh, I'm seeing it more as, uh, less as a easy transfer. Hey, easy transformative period and more of it. You go outside if you act like that. Come on.
So I'm saying 2019 was probably a hard year for my middle Aries. Um, it definitely was for me. Uh, so let's see. How is how is the middle Aries present situation? Let's see. So we have the moon. So another trump card. Trump 17. Quick. Yeah, the moon. So right now, I guess it's, it hasn't been. Oh, here, here we go. Fourth card, five of wands. So that would be. Ugh. That would be your future card. All right. So it looks like some of my Aries barely made it out of their, whatever they were going through, whatever situation it was. And you guys are ready to go. And it's, 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 it's time to let go of all that self-talk and just be, just embrace who, who you are and embrace this path. Um, let's see how, how can my Aries look at the past and see the beauty and the value of their experiences? I've got the 10 of cups reversed for the issue. Hey, get out, get out of the flower bed. Hey, psst, get out of the flower bed. Get out. Psst, get out of the flower bed. Psst, 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 get out. Get out. Sorry. And then for the uh, present, the issue with uh, the present is the Seven of Cups. All right. So I guess may, it looks like in the past, you guys thought, or Aries thought that, um, he's bored. Aries thought that they had everything uh, when it came to their emotional being. You guys were very happy and you lost something. You lost something that, well, you thought you had it all and the rug was pulled out from under you somehow. Um, and, and whatever you had ended up being poisonous. So you, the death card, so you guys thought you had everything together and nothing to worry about, but then you lost it. And now, and, and you had been dwelling in whatever you lost in, the, in that poison. So presently, your shadow self or, you know, your, uh, yeah, your shadow self is feeling rather hurt and vulnerable, um, or, uh, cancer energy, um, Feels to me like you're meeting, you're integrating, at this moment, you're integrating both sides. See, there's the two dogs, the two women, and then the two faces, both the houses, one's dark, one's light, um, with the mountain in the center. So you're building something a little bit more substantial, and uh, you're doing that by integrating both sides of your person, your divine masculine and your divine feminine, your shadow self and your regular self, your moon and your sun and your moon. Um, if you don't know it, you should probably look it up. Um, there's tons of free natal charts or natal chart calculators online. Um, but yeah, and it may, becoming, becoming friends and accepting and embracing yourself means embracing, um, your inner self as well. Uh, the, the part of you that, that you keep protected from the world to protect, to protect your heart. And, um, right now, your issue is you're trying to build back up what you had. And 
what you had and what what you were happy with beforehand did it end up too well did it so right now you need to be open to other gifts um you know maybe the, the thing that you idealized in the past and you know people really need to quit idealizing their past um i know it's t it's impossible to look at things objectively but i mean when you, if you look at your past relationships or something like yeah maybe that guy was really cool or provided for you or something um or helped you in some way but you're done with that journey so you have to move on and the there is no such thing as the past i mean there is in our heads and our hearts and the way that our forward energy the way we experienced our forward energy yes the past exists there but it's not a thing it's not a thing we can fix it's not a thing we can change and it's not really a thing that anybody else cares about what 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 matters is what's happening right now and what you're doing about it right now and that's why the serenity prayer is something is you know uh, so popular because it's the uh, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom and the wisdom to know the difference between the things you can't change blah 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 whatever um, so you know you go, don't go back because you'll open up another Pandora's box. Maybe you, if you are lonely and you find somebody who uh, is into you, and you just become enamored with just that how much they like you. I know that happens to me, and I ne don't necessarily really like them. And also, what happens is they don't necessarily really like me either. They like the idea of me, but um, you know, I'm not gonna mince words. So people that get their feelings hurt, or you know are easily emasculated or whatever. They don't fare too great with me, but we'll see. All right, the issue for the future. All right, so I have the five of pentacles um, on top of the five of wands. All right, so two fives. The future is going to okay. So right now you're you're not stepping in with uh with both feet, but in your future things are gonna move really fast, and you're gonna have um your creative body is gonna feel very inspired, and um and uh you'll get you'll maybe job offers, maybe maybe new relationship, but uh be careful because the you're gonna be offered something that's too good to be true. And it's going to have to do with material possessions. So whether it's, you know, um, if you're thinking about buying a house, I would, you know, really uh, give that another minute. And, or thinking about getting into a relationship, anything like that. Any major life change, just, I would wait until, until you really know what it is you want and you realize whether or not... You're going back to Pandora's box and trying to uh, recreate something you had in the past. All right, so let's look at solutions. Ten of Wands for the solution. Characterize your past. Three of Pentacles for your present. This is good. Ooh. Sorry, I like to let things pop out at me. So it looks like so you had this you had this awful experience and you're romanticizing it, but it you look like a fool for doing so. I mean, really, whatever this was in your past, it, to the outside, it, it was very obvious, the problem. So however you got your feelings hurt or your things taken or your heart and soul crushed, <laughs> just like everything else, there is the only pathway there is, is the path that you're on. So, you know, there really isn't any point in looking into your past and, and wishing that things had been different, or um, if you had only done this or that, or if he or she had only done this or that, whatever. So uh, you're the solution cards that came up. Solution to your past, 10 of wands. Um, the 10 of wands, 
the okay so the number nine symbolizes like completion and 10 is like on top of completion so it's for the wands it's not necessarily like a super great thing it's just like it fire wands are associated with fire so if you have more fire than you need it, you know things can uh, get out of control so that's the way that you need to look at your past so you know whether or not you think things were hey get out 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 of get out get out get out of the flower garden Get out of the flower border. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. All right, and for your present, you need to just work on what you have. Hey, get out of there. Get out. Get out. You need to work on what you have, develop the gifts you have, um, and be grateful for... Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out of the flower bed. Get out. No, no. Right, so focus on what you have. Um, focus on the people that you still have, your family, during this quarantine time. That's very important. Um, just look at your life with a very critical eye and see what you don't need and let it go. Um, I've started to to really try to get all the excess out of my life and it, it, it'll all go. Anything in your life that you're not supposed to have will leave and you know, you, it will, you, you can't keep, can't take things with you when you die. You can't, you can't make people love you. You can't predict a dangerous virus from infecting thousands of people so hey no you just need to let let all the things that you can't control out and focus on the things you can control because then when all everything calms down hey psst, psst, hey 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 you won't have you don't won't have wasted your time on something that you can't you know you can't predict or you can't you can't save. It doesn't mean anything. And then for your future, it's going to move really fast, but just be careful of who you, uh, the companions that you choose. Um, uh, you know, be careful of excess. And the solution for, for that is three. It's the, the high priestess or the, the empress, excuse me, the divine feminine or not the divine feminine, but the, uh, maternal, mm -mm. The uh, maternal authority, so the nurturing, the generational, the generational concern. Um, she has nine stars on her crown. Nine, like I said, completion. Um, brocade gown she's got scepters she's powerful and she's look at her eyes they're peering with such intensity um trying to see through you know so if you are able to let go of the things that hurt you in the past and if you're able to focus on the things that you do have and invest your time and your money and your emotions and, and into, you know, if you build foundations that aren't based on, on fragile, uh, just, you know, if you can build your foundations on something solid, then you'll come out of you'll come out of this, out of your transformation as the Empress 
somebody in control of their faculties and their emotions and someone who won't get hurt again, somebody strong, somebody who is worthy, worthy to lead. Um, Aries are leaders. All right. I want to I want to clarify these two cards, which is uh, the Seven of Cups is the issue um, currently, and the Three or the Five of Pentacles is your future issue. So let's see. My newest deck is the Animal Spirit Guidebook. So, So what is, what is metal Aries? What is the best thing for metal Aries? How, how is what's the best way for the metal Aries to approach the issues that they're currently facing and the issues that they will face? Bat energy. This is a beautiful card. I love bats. My dog, my Dutch Shepherd kind of looks like a baby fruit bat in the face. You know, the cute ones. All right. So this bat is, um, and this is uh, under the air element. Darkness letting go, death leading to rebirth. So I guess this kind of corresponds to the uh, to the death card. The four emerging that waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise in the darkness. So this has a lot to do with this spread has a lot to do your your few this month this month this next cycle is going to have a lot to do with you doing shadow work and um, incorporating your shadow self. In the darkness, I can see all that it was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of subtle sense. So yep, developing your, developing your gifts. Um, that was that uh, five of Yeah, that with that with that five of pentacles. So, don't hide. Don't hide from your shadow shadow self. Don't don't fear the darkness. The bat is the master of the subtle senses of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. So if you are in balance, then this card will manifest itself in your life as an accepting energy, an adapting energy, um, willing to make adjustments. But if you refuse to let go and all you're doing is reminiscing, then... <sighs> You're gonna just you're not gonna evolve and this this uh this time of quarantine in all these countries this is a time for you to 
focus on what you can, which is yourself. Um, so do what you can to, uh, experience nature and experience real things, your family, things, lasting things. Um, I fear that this, uh, economic collapse, uh, the real, the real force that, um, I think the international governments are fearing is it's going to be hard on, on people that base their value and the value of other people on uh, material items. So the best thing we can do right now is just to meditate on on what's important. And it can be different for everybody. We all have different gifts. It takes all kinds. That's what the Zodiac is. It's uh, it's 12, uh, 12 different ways of describing the uh, human experience characteristics, the parts of the whole. But I hope you guys found that uh, helpful and I will see you again.